Hey kiddos and welcome back to music class. My name is Mrs. Laziola and I am so glad that you decided to join us for this week's music lesson. Now you may remember that we were studying a wonderful piece of music with many movements about animals called Carnival of the Animals. But we decided to pause that one to just put a pin in it for a few weeks while we celebrate the month of February for Black History Month. And this month we are celebrating all sorts of black musicians and what they have contributed to our music that we listen to today. So last week we studied a marvelous black musician, a singer, a pop singer named Beyonce. And this week we are going to study a completely different kind of black musician. This one does not create and perform pop music. This one creates and performs something called ragtime. And ragtime music is a wonderful kind of music for dancing and moving to, all right? This composer is named Scott Joplin, Scott Joplin, and he looks like this. Pretty cool, right? Scott Joplin. He was born a really, really long time ago. The year he was born didn't start with 2000, didn't even start with 1900. The year he was born was 1868, 1868. That was a long time ago, but you know what? We still listen to his music today because it was so wonderful and so important to his ragtime music. So Scott Joplin, he was a really talented man because not only did he write all of the music, but he also performed it. He was able to do both. He was his own songwriter and performer. And what the instrument that he really liked to perform on was an instrument that you probably know. It's black and it's white and it's pretty big and you play it by pressing down on keys. Do you think you know what instrument that might be? A big instrument that's black and it has white keys and some black keys and you, you strike it to make a sound. You strike it and it creates vibrations and notes and that instrument is the piano. Very nice. Scott Joplin, born in 1868. He was a ragtime composer. That means he wrote music that was ragtime music, right? That's what composer is, someone who writes a music. Well, he was, he was a ragtime composer <laughs> who, played, <laughs> who played the piano. Sorry, I guess Nala was excited about Scott Joplin. Well, this week I wanted to show you one of my favorite songs by Scott, jo Scott Joplin called Maple Leaf Rag, Maple Leaf Rag. Now for this activity with maple leaf rag, you are going to need something like this. So I brought a scarf, and if you have a scarf, you could grab one, but it doesn't have to be a scarf. It could be an old t-shirt, or a couple of paper towels, or a tissue, or a hand towel, a dish rag, anything like that that you can move around and it will follow. So I have, a, a, I have this scarf, but you can use a tissue, t-shirt, anything you can find. So you can pause it here, if you'd like so you can search around wherever you are and see what you might be able to use so go ahead and pause it now and find that thing to use as a scarf all right now that you have it we are going to learn some parts this song from maple leaf rag has four parts and we call each one of these parts a letter so we'll call them a b c and d a b c and d and i like to pretend that the a section is A for aquarium, A for aquarium. And because it's A for aquarium, we're gonna pretend that our scarf or whatever it is that you have is a fish. And we're gonna make this fish just swim back and forth. Can you hold your fish in front of you and make it swim back and forth? Very nice. It's beautiful and I like the way it looks like the tail is just following. Here's the front of the fish and then the tail just follows it. Beautiful. That's the first part of the aquarium A section. It goes like this. And that's it, it's just a swim back, fish swimming back and forth. But then, you know what our fish does? It decides to swim to the top of the tank in the aquarium like this. Bloop, 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 bloop. Watch that again. Bloop, 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 bloop. Pretty cool, right? Can you try it with me? Put yours all the way down here and get ready to go up to the top of the tank gonna make some bubbles on the way up. Here we go. Bloop, 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 bloop. Very nice. And you know what? This fish realizes something when it's at the top of the tank. Maybe you've seen an aquarium or a fish bowl before that has the little machine at the top that sucks up the dirty water. And then it pushes it back out. Well, this part, our fish, when it was up here, realized it was kind of like a waterfall that it could ride down and swish all the way to the bottom, like this. Waterfall, swish and swish.
swishing, 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 swishing to the bottom. I'll show you again. Waterfall, swishing, 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 swishing to the bottom. Very nice. You want, can you try it with me? Let's do our waterfall from the top. Here we go. Waterfall, swishing, 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 swishing to the bottom. And that's the whole A for Aquarium section. We'll see if we can put all three of those parts together for A for Aquarium. We start with them swimming back and forth. Here we go. Back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. Let's swim to the top of the tank. Bloop, 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 bloop. And waterfall. Swishing, 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 swishing to the bottom. Write it again. Waterfall. Swishing, 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 swishing to the bottom. That's A for Aquarium. I'll show it to you one more time. This time you can just watch in case there was anything you were confused about. It goes like this. So the back and forth swimming, right? And now we're going to go to the bottom of the tank. Bloop, 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 bloop to the top where we'll ride the waterfall. Swishing, 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 swishing to the bottom. Waterfall, swishing, 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 swishing to the bottom. And that's all of A for Aquarium. The next part is B. B is for basketball, so we're going to pretend this scarf or whatever it is that you have in your hand is a basketball that we are going to dribble 16 times on one side, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, but wait, when we get to the number 16, as we're dribbling, we're gonna pass it under our legs. Some of you guys may have played basketball or watched and sometimes they do that. They pass it under their legs. Now we're gonna dribble 16 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and we pass under again. 16, we do it again. Make sure you're dribbling your basketball, right? Try it with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Very nice. So that A for aquarium section actually happens two times, and then right after it, we do the B for basketball two times. Let's go back to A for Aquarium. We'll do it twice and we'll go right into B for Basketball and do that one twice, just like it happens in the music. Follow along with me. Starting at A for Aquarium. So our fish is gonna swim back and forth, right? All right, here we go. Nice job. And to the bottom of the tank, bloop, 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 to the top. Waterfall, swishing, 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 swishing to the bottom. Waterfall, swishing, 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 swishing to the bottom. Remember, we do A twice, so let's do it again. Here we go. Oh, and I like to make my fish sometimes swim big, sometimes swim small. And then to the bottom of the tank, bloop, bloop, bloop to the top. Waterfall, swishing, 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 swishing to the bottom. Waterfall, swishing, 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 swishing to the bottom. Time for basketball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Remember, we do B twice, so let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And that's A A and B B. We did A for aquarium twice, and we did B for basketball twice. It's time for C. C. C is actually going to be for a celebration. And for the celebration, you're gonna get two, both ends, two ends of whatever it is you have, pretending to be a scarf, and just put them together so that you can put your hands like this, because we are going to do C for celebrate. We're gonna go like this. 
rah, 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 celebrate. And again, rah, 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 celebrate. So it's just balling up your hands together and going one, two, one, two. And then we just move it all around for celebrate. Let's try it together. Here we go. Rah, 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 celebrate. And again, rah, 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 celebrate. Rah, 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 celebrate. Rah, 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 celebrate. And that's all of C. It's just a lot of rah, 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 celebrate. And we do that whole thing with all those rah, rah, celebrates two times. So there's two A's, two B's, then two C's for celebrate. The last one is D. D is for draw, and we are going to be drawing a shape. This is a very round shape that has one side, right? One never ending side, that is a circle. And we're gonna draw a circle while we count to 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Did you see how I went like this and created a huge circle, like I was drawing an imaginary circle right in front of me with my scarf? Pretty cool, right? And once you're done drawing a huge circle and you get up to 16, you're gonna switch hands because your other hand wants to try it too, and it's gonna go the other way. Try it with me. Up above your head, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And that is D for draw, but it happens twice, so let's go again. Switch hands. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Remember, switch, go the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Very nice, you've now done A two times, B two times, C two times, D two times. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Then it goes back and repeats some of the other letters, but I'll just call those out to you as they come and we can do it together. The only thing I didn't show you is at the end, we're gonna throw our scarf in the air. The end actually um, is gonna end with the basketball, so it'll be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and instead of switching under our leg on 16, we go 16. And that's the whole thing. Let's see if we can add some music and do it together. A for aquarium. It's a quick swimming fish, isn't it? Remember this part? And waterfall, swish and swish and swish and swish and swish and swish and to the bottom. Waterfall, swish and swish and swish and swish and swish and swish to the bottom. I almost forgot. We do A again, don't we? Ball. Remember, dribble that ball for 16. We're gonna switch on 60. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Get ready to switch. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four. You're doing wonderfully. 15, 16. Oh, it's A for aquarium again, isn't it? Make sure your fishies are swimming back and forth and then boop, 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 to the top of the tank for the waterfall. Wow, wonderful job. Waterfall, swish and swish and swish and swish and swish and swish to the bottom. Celebrate. It's rah rah celebrate. C for celebrate. Rah 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 celebrate. Let's celebrate some more. Celebrate. 
deeper draw. We're drawing big circles, remember? All oh, beautiful circles. And switch. Ooh, that's a quick switch. Let's do the deeper draw again. Switch hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Switch. Nice. Drawing big, beautiful circles in front of us. Let's see what part comes next. A for aquarium again. Have those fishies swimming back and forth and get ready to go to the bottom of the tank. Boop to the top. Waterfall swishing, 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 swishing to the bottom. Waterfall swishing, 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 swishing to the bottom. Basketball. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Let's get ready to toss. 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, wonderful job. I think that Scott Joplin would be so proud. Whoops. We don't need that Scott Joplin yet. Not yet, at least. Well, thank you so much for dancing and using your scarves or tissues or rags to move to Scott Joplin's ragtime composition for the piano called Maple Leaf Rag. Now, if you decided that you loved Scott Joplin and you loved ragtime music so much, what you can do is click on that picture right over there on the side and it's going to take you to a coloring page, but not just any kind of coloring page. It's a special kind of coloring page called a listening glyph. And you can click that and it will give you a page, a listening glyph, right? Coloring page that you can print out and you can listen to another piece of music by Scott Joplin and work on this coloring page or this listening glyph with your grown up, okay? The way it works is it has some instructions. So it might say, if you hear just one instrument, color his hair black. But if you hear lots of instruments, color his hair pink. Well, we know that he just played the piano, right? That was the only instrument that you could hear in his music. So you would say, oh, that's only one instrument. I'll color his hair black, right? That's how listening glyphs work. They give you instructions on how to color based off of what you hear, what you're listening for. And you can have a grown up help you print that out and help you put the music on your speaker or your tablet or your Google or Alexa or whatever you have. And then you guys can work on coloring it together. All right, I hope you had a lot of fun. Let's get ready to sing goodbye. Here we go. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Have fun.